really shoot you in cell. Oh my god! I'm sorry! I am news about a lot of things. Kind of the basic storyline is that there's a young teenage girl who has a chronic illness and is uh, housebound due to this illness and uh, kind of out of nowhere a classmate comes in with a school project that's due the next day when she herself has not been to school in months and she's totally thrown by it and it turns out to be a really beautiful kind of encounter between two people over the course of this like evening that they spend together. This young man has a uh, he has difficulty getting her on his side he has to do many different things to try and find the right way in and, and to uh, get the assignment done. I feel like the wonderful thing about INU is it has its kind of fingers in so many genres without feeling like an overstuffed piece of theater. It's got kind of elements of like teen drama, it's got elements of rom-com. The school project that we do together is about Walt Whitman, so it has like elements of of the greatness and the wildness of Walt Whitman that I think is really beautiful. A big theme that plays in my head is this sense of never giving up, staying the course, and um, there's little elements of like the grass is always greener. I think one of the beautiful things that Elizabeth has done with this play is really aesthetically and dramaturgically has like blown open the connection between these two people in the way that like you crack open a rock and there's like a crystal inside and you get to like look at all the little pieces. I hope people leave the theater feeling more connected to each other in a time of isolation. Mm -hmm. I hope the audience, I hope they can reflect on it and perhaps apply some of what they've learned from the characters into their own lives or find ways to utilize the actions being done or like the choices being made to apply that to their own selves if they ever in a rut or if they're ever thinking that they can't do it or it's only me. Take the focus off yourself perhaps.